I'm Asama Amar and I'm the Head of Continuing Fitness to Practice for the General Pharmaceutical Council. What is Continuing Fitness to Practice? It's the name that we give to a range of things that regulators might do to assure ourselves and the public that pharmacy professionals will meet the essential standards for practice over the course of their careers and not just at the point that they first enter onto the register. I thought the GPHC was introducing revalidation. What is the difference? Well, if we think of continuing fitness to practice as a range of options, revalidation is just one of the potential options that we might choose. And since the introduction of revalidation by the GMC for doctors, it means something quite specific. It means that there will be a, a system of responsible officers or other similar roles, and also that there will be a fixed point assessment in time of a pharmacist or pharmacy technician. We think that there is a different way that we can work that will be more flexible, and that's what we're trying to achieve in developing what we're calling the continuing fitness to practice framework. Why is the GPHC introducing the framework? We want to provide additional assurances to members of the public that pharmacy professionals meet the essential standards over the course of their careers and we think that's a really important thing that we have to do. But we also want to support pharmacy professionals in being able to meet our standards around patient-centred professionalism. We think that that will do more than simply protect the public but actually enhance outcomes for members of the public as well. What is the timescale for the continuing fitness to practice framework to be implemented? We plan to implement in 2018, but before we get there, we've got a full programme of development which includes extensive engagement with the sector and others.